Fear Collective, what's up? Thanks for joining me. Today we are getting into the scares and subtext of Amityville 3D. So Amityville 3D, it came out in 1983, a year after Amityville 2, The Possession, and it's everything that you would expect a 1983 3D movie to be. Um, all the great horror franchises had a 3D entry Friday the 13th, Jaws, and Amityville jumped right onto that train. Um, this series, I don't think, has ever been really regarded for its quality. More so, it's just a popcorn horror film that's easy to digest. It's not even especially scary, but for some reason, um, there's just like this quality about Amityville and the story surrounding it that kind of pulls people in, at least for myself, and that's why I'm torturing myself and watching all of these crazy sequels that are by no means quality films, but as a horror fan, I feel that it is my civic duty to sit down and watch these crazy, crazy movies. So Amityville 3D begins with a really interesting premise. It's kind of a fake out opener that reminded me a lot of Scream 4. And I thought that provided that this came like 20, 30 years before Scream 4, um, it was a creative opening and it did something different with the genre. I thought that it showed that the filmmakers understood that maybe taking themselves a little less seriously was the way to go. Uh, with Amityville 3D. Um, unfortunately, after that, the movie just gets super, super boring. <laughs> the characters are really not interesting. Um, there's not a lot for me to um, dig into this movie about because it's just a bunch of flies and all of the typical Amityville scare sequences regurgitated Overall scares, this is a one. Again, it's just not scary. There is an elevator sequence that happens randomly in the middle of the movie where our protagonist gets in an elevator and, oh my god, there's a fly in there with him. That means that he, the house or the evil of the house is following him. Oh my god. And then the elevator shoots up and then it, like, drops. But... I don't know what you would look like in a falling elevator, but this is literally him. Elevator drop. And then the elevator, like, just stops at the bottom, and then he walks out fine, like, scratching his head. And it's so pointless. Everything in this film is just so pointless. I do not, I don't get it. Overall impact, I'm going to give this one a two. Um... It's part of the Amityville franchise, which in and of itself is a uh, horror staple. Um, it does have its cult following, and it did inspire many, 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 many additional films after this one. So I can't say that it's a nothing film, but um, it really didn't have any impact on me. And whether or not you should buy, stream, or pass on this one, I say stream it. It's on Amazon Prime. If you're a Prime member, um, don't spend any money on it, and I myself will not be purchasing this one. Um, I did have fun with the second installment of this franchise, but this one, unfortunately, just was a miss for me. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Next up is Amityville 4, The Evil Escapes. Um, judging with how things went with this film, I'm not expecting much, but we'll see. You never know. I'll catch you in the next video.